Good morning, this is Jason Robinson at RJG. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Really appreciate you guys listening to us and watching our videos. Today we're gonna to talk about pressure. So pressure in the injection molding process. You hear that word from time to time. So not all pressure is the same. You have to look at different pressures in different locations differently. So there's basically pressure in three different locations on the machine. There's pressure in this cylinder right here. It's called the injection cylinder. This pressure is gonna be called hydraulic pressure. And then the, net, the second place we're gonna see pressure in the molding environment would be inside the barrel here or in front of the screw tip assembly. Um, that pressure, um, RGG is changing what we call it. We used to call that simply plastic pressure because it, it actually is pressure of the plastic inside of the barrel. But if you start to come to some of our current courses, we're going to start calling the pressure in the barrel, we're going to call it specific pressure. And I'll explain the need for the name change in just a minute. And then if you follow me over here, the third place that we have pressure in the molding environment would be in the molding cavities themselves. And we're going to call those cavity pressure because they are in the cavities. Okay, so as a quick review, so the three places we have pressure and the three names are gonna be hydraulic pressure back here on a hydraulic molding machine in the injection cylinder. So hydraulic, specific pressure, which is in the barrel, and then cavity pressure, which will be in the molding cavities. Now let me explain why we've distinguished the three different names. So when I'm teaching a course, um, we used to just say hydraulic or plastic. So hydraulic is always back here in the cylinder. And if I told the class, what's the plastic pressure? Sometimes there is a little bit of confusion. Am I talking about plastic pressure in the barrel or plastic pressure in the cavities? So we at RGG have separate those two out. So now we call this specific pressure. And we've borrowed that name from some of the mach machine manufacturers on their controllers. It will say specific pressure. So now we have specific pressure and then we have cavity pressure. Now those two, specific and cavity are both the pressure of the plastic. They're just in two separate locations. So it makes some um, identifying where I'm speaking of or where are you documenting the actual pressure? Are we documenting specific in the barrel or cavity pressure in the mold itself? Okay, so I got the machine running out. Now, the question somebody may have is, um, are those pressures not all the same? So we're gonna look into that and, and explain it a little bit. So. This is our RGG EDART system. We have a gauge plugged into this hydraulic cylinder. So this gauge, we, this is one gauge we have, this is a second gauge. This gauge is reading the hydraulic pressure, okay? Right here, we can see the hydraulic pressure, 408, 409 PSI, hydraulic, okay? Now let's look at it on the EDART system over here. So. If you look right here, this is our EDART graph, and we're looking at just the hydraulic pressure. So the white curve is hydraulic pressure. And during hold, we have basically 410 PSI of hydraulic pressure. So now I'm gonna add another curve. Now, the EDAR system still calls it plastic pressure, so don't let that be confusing. We haven't updated our hardware yet, but our message is changing from plastic pressure to specific. So if you look at this closer, you see in the injection cylinder, I have 409, 410 PSI, hydraulic. My specific pressure, which is the red curve, I have 6,630. So, if you follow my hand right here, in the cylinder we have 410 PSI hydraulic. Here in front of the screw tip, the actual specific pressure is around 6,600, 6,620 specific plastic pressure. So why is that? There's a thing called intensification ratio. So that's a ratio of the area, of, it's the ratio between the area of the injection cylinder to the area of the screw tip assembly. So the injection cylinder is always gonna be the bigger area and the screw tip assembly is gonna be smaller. So that intensifies the pressure. The intensification ratio on this machine is about 18.8. .8. 
So whatever hydraulic pressure we have in the cylinder is intensified by 18.8. .8. So that's how we get from 410 to 6620. Okay? And that applies to hold pressure, peak pressure, or back pressure. Specifically right now I'm looking at hold pressure. Okay, so we went over the first two types of pressures. We went over a hydraulic in the back of the cylinder and then specific in the barrel. Um, the next place we're going to talk about is in the mold cavities themselves. So this one's going to be called cavity pressure. Okay, so on the EDART system here, now I have all three of the pressures listed. So starting from the back, I have the first one, which is hydraulic, 409 PSI. That's in the injection cylinder, that's hydraulic pressure. And then the red curve, we have the pressure in the barrel, which is 6,630 specific. And then now the new curve you see up there is the green curve. That is the pressure in one of these mold cavities near the gate. So we're reading about 2,599. And the peak is about 3,200. So in the, at that point in time, I have nearly 11,270 in the barrel plastic pressure, but only reaching about 3,200 inside of the mold. And the reason for that is there's something called pressure loss. So we're pushing plastic out of the nozzle at, at that point in time at around 11,000, but inside this part right here near the gate, we're only achieving about 3,200 cavity pressure. So the reason for that difference between those two is the, something called pressure loss. So we're losing pressure through the orifice of the nozzle tip, through the sprue, through the, the runner system here, and through the gate, okay? And that, that trend is always gonna be the same. So if you notice, the further away I get from the barrel, the lower the pressure gets in the cavities. Okay, everyone, thank you for tuning in today. Uh, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you have any questions about the topics that we discussed just now, please leave the comments in the, in the comment section below. Uh, we try to answer all of those, or if you have any feedback, um, this is type. This is a kind of a new um, teaching approach for us. We're not inventing anything new. Just how we teach it to you guys. And um, stay tuned to our YouTube channel. We're going to keep putting at least one YouTube video out per week, and we really appreciate your support. Thank you, and have a great week.